Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Loza video. I'm still sick, so I'm gonna have my camera off for this one. But today we're gonna talk about opinions in the Dark Magician community and why some players uh, get hostile when I've suggested certain cards. It's, it's a bit interesting. Um, in the background today, I'm just gonna have some Master Duel gameplay of the event where we had to use traps. I forget what it was called, but the Duel's Cup. No, it wasn't the Duel's Cup. But anyway, the cup where you had to use only traps, no spells. And of course, I tried to play DM and it's a mess. But anyway, enjoy that in the background while we talk about this screenshot here from Facebook in one of the Facebook groups of Dark Magician where I posted my Red Eyes Fusion video and why you should play it. Uh, I was combated with this fella who said, why when we have Eye of Tamias? Um, to which I replied, cards unsearchable and bad, both of which is pretty well known in the community. I, I don't think that's a controversial take. Saying Red Eyes Fusion's the best DM card, I can admit that that's slightly controversial, but saying, you know, Eye of Tamias is bad, I think is pretty straightforward. Most people know this, most people wish it searched, but alas, it does not. Anyway. Um, they reply with, oh no, you're absolutely correct. Let's not run a card that's one, unsearchable, two, bad. Hey guys, have you all ever heard of Red Eyes Fusion? So trying to make a bit of a joke here. So yeah, they tried to make a little joke here, but unfortunately, like, it just shows how little they know about the deck. Because, like, or the card game more so, because Red Eyes Fusion is very searchable off inside. Plus, we also have literally the Media Dragon. I've made multiple videos on it by now. I think I've got three in which we talk about how searchable ref will be soon. So I think that's just really interesting. So anyway, my reply is just ref is searchable and it gives us a boss monster like, hey, just watch the video's first minute and you'll see. So for some reason he took what I said, I guess literally, rather than thinking we'd play other cards to search ref. He said, your combo doesn't explain what dark magician card searches ref. So he completely missed the start of the video in which I state why Ref is like a better Magician Souls in the deck. I'm just going to play that clip of the video right now because it is really important and I think most players who watch the video or any viewer is able to tell what I'm trying to say here. I'm trying to say like Ref Circle Eternal Soul is better than Magician Soul Circle Eternal Soul basically. So here's that clip. As we mentioned earlier, we only need three cards to get the Dark Magician engine going. One of them being a Dark Magician, the other being Circle, and the third being Eternal Soul. In our hand are all the pieces that we need to achieve this and more. So I'm going to show why Red Eyes Fusion can be much, much better than Magician Souls. While Magician Souls can get you additional draws, Red Eyes Fusion will straight up give you a boss monster with Omni Negate. From here, we're able to go into Dark Magical Circle, and we're able to chain our Soul Servant, which is better than opening Eternal Soul. Yes, it is. Why? Well, because now we can go and grab Salvation. While Salvation's not really the relevant part here, it is good to get that extra card. So we're going to grab that Salvation. These cards don't really matter right now. Salvation is going to give us the Eternal Soul. We have an extra card on field now. Salvation's not that relevant, but for later turns, Magician Souls can send this to draw, or Tamias can send it to summon, or you can even use the effect to summon DMG or DM. That effect barely comes up though. From here, we've established the Dark Magician Triangle. We have Dark Magician, Engrave, Circle, and Eternal Soul. This was a random draw, so don't think this is relevant. This is just a discard for Dragoon. You can see from that clip that, um, you know, it's pretty obvious what I'm trying to say. Ref's a good card for DM, right? Puts DM in grave, facilitates a big-ass boss monster, and gives us, you know, something to do going second. So, good card. Anyway, he mentions that Verte is banned, which kills Ref. Well, yes, that is true to some degree, but it's still one of our best cards. Um, he says, I don't understand the best features of the deck, and that I think all we do is Eternal Soul Circle Loop. Uh, I don't know what dimension this guy's playing DM in, but that's kind of all the deck really does. <laughs> I'm not really sure what he's getting at, and my one card boss monster apparently locks me out of summons. Well, I mean, if you use ref, yes it does. Uh, which is such, such a uh, hexagon, he's put a red hexagon, which is incredible. Obviously it means a stop sign, but it's just really weird to use an emoji there. We are far beyond that point, if you want to discuss anything first power crab, that's it. So yeah, not really sure what he was trying to say there. So I just tried to elaborate and be like, look man, inside search is ref. I can show you play the deck like longer. I don't know why, there's always this dick measuring contest when you play Dark Magician of people who say, I played the deck for like such and such years. I played it since this. Like whoop de doo man, I've played the deck since it came out, like since I was a kid. It doesn't matter to be honest. Like I, I was terrible then and I only started getting competitive in the last say four years. So does it really matter? No, not really. When I started getting good results at YCS, well, not good, but you know, I made it to day two of DM. That's pretty good for the deck, so. When I started doing that, I was like, okay, I can maybe focus on being competitive and not a casual now. 
And that's kind of what happened for me. But anyway, he just claimed, um... He just claimed that I didn't know the deck, which is really weird, because I was like, bro, I have a whole YouTube channel talking about the deck, like, if you want to look like... <laughs> I don't know what you're really talking about. And I was like, what, what does the DM deck try to achieve on turn one other than Circle Eternal Soul? Because, like, that's been the main focus since it's come out. I mean, obviously, navigation instead of circle back in the day, but you get what I mean. The simple solution of the DM triangle, which we talk about all the time. And then I just mentioned, you know, who cares about additional summons? Uh, it's DM. Like, we only want a normal rod and special souls. Like, that's it. But what else do you want to do? Like, you can just play ref instead, and it kind of does what souls would have done anyway. But, yeah. Obviously, he can't really see that ref is genuinely a really good card for the deck. And look, I know people prefer Brain of Fusion. That's fine. Brain of Fusion's an excellent card. You have to play your own Brain and Engine, then. And that's fine. If you want to do that, do that. I have Brain and Builds on the channel, so I don't know why people are like, Oh, Brain is better. It's like some competition. I'm like, bruh. Like, I, I like all of the cards, so they're, they're both good. I just think Ref is better bang for your buck because it's a one card Dragoon. And going second, that one card Dragoon goes pop, pop, and you win the game half the time. I mean, the Sword Soul I've shown many times, it's just a free win. If you have Impermanent Ref or two Refs, you just win. Because uh, Fleur has to negate the Ref by a hard negation. It's, it's very funny, it's very silly. Anyway, this guy clearly just really is adamant that he's played the deck longer and that ref is just such a good card and whatnot so we move on to his third message in which he says if you read my comments i said no dark magician card search as ref and it's like okay so so what like it's not the first time you've we've mixed another archetype with dm and if we're gonna mix anything with dm it may as well be the engine that gets dragoon out right anyway um he says, what does DM do turn one? Appalooza, the, the Dark Magicians for infinite advantage. Dark Paladin, if you really want to blast from the past. All right, I, I don't know what DM deck is getting to Appalooza and setting up anything relevant. I, no one's getting to the Dark Magicians and Appalooza. And sorry, if you're using three cards to fuse into Dark Magicians and you think that's infinite value, like, you are so delusional. Like, what do you mean? You spent three cards to get to the Dark Magicians. It'll draw you one. Guess what, buddy? You still got to make up two cards there. And guess what? You're probably not, because your opponent's going to get their turn. They might play a spell or trap. You might get another draw, right? Cool. You still need to make up one more card in that hand for it to be worth it. And they're probably going to pop the Dark Magician or shuffle it back in the deck at some point. And then people are like, oh, then you trigger the effect to summon the DM, DM, DM. That effect sucks. That effect can get us. That effect can just not trigger. That effect is really fucking bad. Um, and it justifies people playing DMG, which... Look, sometimes I do it too, but it's really not that good a card. The Dark Magicians really should identify as DM and DMG, but we've been over that many times. But anyway, he continues to say, anything that's not a single negate, let turn, I, I don't know, this is a typo of some sort. That can be Kaiju. So he's just saying, like, Dragoon can be Kaiju, but it's just like, bro, Appalooza can be Kaiju. <laughs> like, everything you've mentioned can also be Kaiju. So uh, you can't really use Kaiju as a defense for Dragoon and not everything else you mentioned, which we would have used, like, four cards to get into Appalooza and just get Kaiju. Like... How'd you go with your four cards then, bro? Like, what are you talking about? I'd rather ref get kaiju on Dragoon than make Appalooza with four material, three material, and it get kaiju on that, right? Then I've lost more cards. Like, it's like people don't understand card advantage. You're like, bang for their buck. It's, it's wild. Anyway, he said, have you never tried cards like Secrets of Dark Magic, the Dragon of Destiny? <laughs> like wow bro you're talking about literally dog shit cards here like yes of course i have a channel dedicated to dm but i've never tried secrets or dragon of destiny so obviously not the smartest uh you know Yu-Gi-Oh player not the biggest brain dm player um so he's a i'm sorry completely unconvinced uh, uh, more typos i don't know how this guy types sorry completely unconvinced that you have used the dark magician deck for as long as you claim to have let alone longer than myself from the dark illusion i don't know why does he mean like from some club the dark illusion or does he just mean like, from the set, Dark Illusion. I'm guessing it's the set, but I just think it's funny to think that he's, like, some edgy DM guy from some Dark Illusion group. Anyway, um, he's now asked me to post the entire deck list of Red Eyes Fusion, like, Dark Magician Hybrid. And I'm like, what? Like, I've shared my channel, and you guys know how many times I talk about Ref and Red Eyes Dark Magician-related content, so I'm not really sure what he wants here. <laughs> It's like, bro, just go look at the channel. I, there's so many deck lists on the channel. Like, oh my god. And he's like demanding me to post the deck list. Like, I haven't posted infinite amounts on YouTube. So anyway, at this point, I just haha reacted and moved on, right? Because there's no point in me wasting any more of my time on this. Like, there really isn't. But I just thought I'd share this with you guys because I have to deal with comments like this on the daily. And it gets frustrating sometimes. I try to remain positive. 
as you can see at the start, I tried to remain positive, but sometimes, as you can see on the screen now, I just feel defeated, and it's really rough. But anyway, what do you guys think of people like this? Because I think I just have to stop replying to them, because I'm just wasting effort and energy. Anyway, thanks for listening, and please subscribe, because we've got a bunch of Dark Magician content coming up, and I love hearing from you guys and talking about the deck. Obviously, not so much with a fella like we just showed up today, but thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you very soon. Peace.